Sean, 474. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is your boy Sean Ali Strength Force Iron Fire Star General. So I know I'm starting the video at the end of the video, but I wanted to get to the list, show you guys the meat, and just talk about it a little bit. I'm gonna actually have a whole separate video going over an analysis of what was happening. But just overall, I mean, I feel good. Obviously, you can see that I placed first in the 105 kg uh, weight class. So I'm really happy about that. I think my total was like 1477. There's a few pounds short of the 1500 that I wanted. Um, and as you can see from that last deadlift, um, just before I do the analysis video, I'll just talk about that really quick. Uh, I just think I didn't line up close enough to the bar. And so once the bar broke my knees, my knees locked out, but I kind of, you know, was forward a little bit. And again, I'll go over that in the analysis video, but I did finish the lift. So the strength is there. It did not feel heavy. Um, I've actually pulled 573 and it's felt heavier than how the 600 felt. Um, it just was really technique. Um, so I'll go over everything. The missed squat was, I definitely can break that down a little bit more, but um, I'm really proud, man. I mean, this is my first meet that I've coached myself into. Uh, the last time I tried to do that, I smashed my toes two weeks out from the meet. So uh, it's really nice to see that I can go seven for nine, have a good day and really only miss lifts on really technicality and not necessarily on strength. Uh, so the way I have learned to program and kind of, you know, coach myself uh, has been successful, I think. Um, I was this close to eight for nine, which is great, and not too far away from a nine for nine with PRs on everything. So I'm um, really proud of the 402 bench that I hit. Um, that I'm really savoring because I haven't hit that since like 2019. Like I had 385 at my last meet, um, but this meet everything was just flying like for the bench press so i'm really happy about that but um overall I'm, I'm i'm excited man i'm excited to to keep getting stronger 1500 is definitely gonna fall the next meet maybe even 1600 because i'm i'm right there like it's not like i don't have the strength to be a 1500 pound lifter i just haven't hit it in the meet so i definitely will be doing that next time hopefully even more weight so um i'm super hungry uh i'm gonna get out of here uh, I just want to really uh, thank a few people uh, before I finish. Um, I really want to thank my girlfriend, first of all, because, I mean, <laughs> training takes up a lot of my time. So I know that, you know, there's definitely times where I sacrifice maybe spending time or doing things and, like, I stay late sometimes. And um, it's a dream of mine to be top 10 in the 105 kg weight class. And it's really nice when you find somebody who, you know, is supporting your dreams and doing that. So I want to thank her first and foremost. First and foremost. Wow. I, oh, oh. You're welcome. <laughs> 
The second person I actually want to thank uh, is Brendan. Uh, he didn't coach me into this meet. This is the first meet I've done without Brendan coaching me, but he taught me so much in the first two meets that he coached me through that I was able to take a lot of the concepts, take what he taught me, because he didn't just coach me, he taught me why things are the way they are and why you program certain things and how to pull back and how to add more and kind of, you know, just, I guess, finesse, finagle through training, you know, just kind of, you know, flow through it properly. So I really want to thank Brendan. Um, he definitely, you know, helped me develop this love uh, for powerlifting. The third person I want to thank is uh, <laughs> my boy Joey, Dr. Joseph Rosie. I don't even know if he likes when I call him that, but um, I was dealing with really bad tendonitis in my knee and he literally has changed that. Like, I feel great. I feel as healthy as I've ever felt in the last five years so i really want to thank joey for just taking the time to analyze my movement see what was going on and help me fix that um dude if you're watching this i really appreciate you uh the last group of people i want to thank is just uh the entire uh, boy and barbell like everybody who goes here i really appreciate all of you guys um i just moved here and just started going to the gym and i really enjoy the environment i enjoy the vibes um and i just i really want to continue to to grow here and uh, I love the environment. It's a, definitely the best gym I've ever been to. All right, so to avoid this video being like stupid long, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I guess I appreciate my body for allowing me to do this. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend told me to say it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really my idea. I really do appreciate you guys for just sticking around and being on this journey with me. So uh, without further ado, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe. Oh, <laughs> hold on, let me, let me do that again. It's, it's been a minute. It's been, when I get more consistent, it's gonna get better. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up down below, really helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to click that bell and the subscription button so you get notifications for all my new videos. And of course, don't forget to order, subscribe and share, like and comment, follow all my social media. So next time, all my devil dogs, dismiss.